In today's assignment, we're going to be creating a package design. Uh, this assignment will last for about five days. Every day you need to be recreating original content for your package. All right, so first of all, to start out, uh, all of you, we've discussed already your product, okay? Um, and then you're gonna need to find a template for the actual box. Uh, so type in package design templates and then go to images. Okay, this is a great example here of one that's already designed. Uh, you have the front of the package, which would be on the shelf, and the consumer would see this. Uh, on the side, there might be some more information. On the back, there's obviously detailed information. That's where you might have your nutrients or your ingredients, um, which you can copy. That's the only part you can copy, plus the barcode. You can copy that as well. Everything else needs to be original, though. Okay, and then you have uh, another side. All right, so I'm gonna use this template here. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say copy image. I'm going to bring it into Photoshop, which I've already done here. So I'm gonna say file, new, make sure you're in inches, and I'm gonna be 17 by 11. We're making them on 17 by 11 because we will be printing these, cutting them out, and creating our boxes to present to the class. So control paste and then control T, I'm going to transform my box, okay? Now, the first thing that you want to kind of identify when you're looking at your template is, okay, where's my front, right? So you need to build your box three-dimensionally inside of your, like, mind and say, okay, where, this is kind of an example here. So this is the front right here. So this is what would be facing forward for the consumer. So first you wanna go, okay, where's my front? So this is the front panel here. If you're having problems figuring out where the front is, let me know and I'll help you. So I'm just gonna put, um, let's see where, 3%, okay, perfect. And I'm on pen's brush, okay. So I'm gonna put it, uh, why isn't this working? Okay, I'm gonna put an F for front. Okay, so this is my front. This is a side, so that would be like side one. This is side two. Okay, this is my back panel. Okay. And this is my top. All right, because it's going to fold around. But remember, it's going to fold, it's going to come around like this. That part is going to tuck in. So, when this piece folds around, it's going to need to be facing that way. So when I'm designing, I'm gonna have it facing that way. Okay, and I'll explain that more. So first of all, in, the, in our second lesson, the first thing I want you to focus on today is one, what do you want for your colors? What is your color palette, okay? Um, two, what do you wanna put on your front? I would first focus on the front and your side. Okay, because that is going to be have to be original. So the first thing I do is let's say I decide, okay, you know what? I really I'm just going to keep this one really basic. I am going to color it uh, right now just pink. Okay, so I select the whole piece. Let's say I'm making a product for um, let's say a lavender or a rose uh, water that you spray on your face. Okay, so I'm gonna double click on this. Maybe make it light pink. Now I'm going to get a new layer for this. New layer, okay. And then edit, fill, foreground, okay. Control D. When I turn that off, there is my product. Now I can always fill these lines in so that they don't show up in printing, okay? All right, but let's just first start out right now with our front of our package. So I am I want to get a, uh, a picture, let's say, of lavender, and I want to call this, maybe my product's name is um, uh, hi, hi, Hydrate, Hydrate Plus. Okay, so let's say that's the name of my product. Now, of course, I'm gonna need to come through here and figure out what font works best for my product, okay? Um, and then now this is a really small box, so I need to kind of figure out here. Um, and I need to come up with sort of a kind of a, obviously, um, 
a logo basically. Okay, so for right now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Hydrate Plus. I might put a, let's go throw a blending option on here. Outer Glow. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. Some noise on it. Okay. And then I'm going to say, okay. Maybe I'll make it a little bit lighter there. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Okay. Okay. So let's say that's kind of, let's say I decide, okay, you know what? I like that. I'm going to make my H a little bit bigger. Okay. Control T shrink it. Okay. So maybe that's my trademark. Maybe that's my logo. Okay. And then I'm going to maybe put in um, some lavender here. Okay. So I can go back online. I can literally type in the word lavender. Now you can grab pictures off of the internet. Okay. Images. That's really beautiful. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy. Now, if you were doing this for a professional, an actual company, you would have to take the photos yourself or use stock images. Okay, so let's go back here. I'm going to paste. Now, this is where the tools that you've learned. So, right, I'm going to use my magic wand. I'm going to delete. Okay, I'm going to, um, and maybe I kind of want, let's see, edit T. I'm going to rotate this. And now where this is where kind of the fun begins, right? How am I going to create this product here? Okay. And then maybe I might come in and I'm going to use some adjustment layers, right? We've learned adjustment layers. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Okay. So what would look really cool on the package? And so this is, as a graphic designer, this is where you come in. What is the feel you want for your product? What is the look you want? Okay, maybe I want to lower the opacity a little bit. Okay. Okay, and then maybe I might want to add like a field back here or, or something else, okay? So, um, and then maybe I'll do like a texture and it's okay if some of the product goes into this other side. Okay. So let's say I want just that as my front. Okay. I might have a tagline down here. Okay. And then this side here, I want to talk about the benefits, let's say. So I might make a couple little circles and then list some information and have photos and images. Okay, we'll work on that. Um, some information, taglines, that type of thing, okay? So on your front, right now today, that's all we're doing, okay? Tomorrow I'll talk about our side, and then I'll make a video also to do our barcode and informational facts and the top. So the side here, so on the front, I'll go over what you need to have on the front, what you need to have on the side, what you need to have on the back. Now, let's say you're gonna bring um, ingredients in and or the barcode. You will just literally go here, you can type in barcode. And you can literally just take a barcode off of, let's say that, oh, ISB, that's a for a book. Um, let's use that one. Copy, come in here and paste. Okay, now, control T, you can just put that, let's say I want to put the barcode right on the bottom there. Okay. All right, okay, so now um, in classroom, I'll be going over what needs to be on each package. You can have designs kind of go through. So let's say, uh, let me do one more thing and then I'm going to let you guys work. So let's say I get a lavender field. Okay. So, oh, that's beautiful. So I'm going to take this picture. I'm going to copy it. 
come into Photoshop, and I'm going to have that kind of run through my whole box. So I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to flip it horizontally. And then I'm actually going to have this be control T. I'm going to have this run through my whole box here. And I'm going to come in here. I'm actually going to get rid of this upper part here. Delete. Control T. I'm going to have that fill up my whole box. Now I'm going to lower the opacity because I'm going to cut this part off here. Okay. And then I'm going to up my opacity. And we've learned adjustment layers, right, in our last project. So now look at this. I can come through and say, oh, wow, that's beautiful. Color dodge, overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light. And I'm kind of coming through here and going, hmm, what looks cool? That's pretty cool. That actually would be a really, right? So you kind of have to go through and see, hmm, what makes a really cool background? And I like screen the best. Now I can also come in and lower that. That's my lavender. I might raise my lavender above so it stands out. So again, as you're adding images, as you're playing around with your adjustment layers, you definitely have to move layers around, okay? All right, so, so far today, right now, I have my, um, my title of my product, okay? So your text treatment. Again, it has to be original. I have a main image representing my product. I used an adjustment layer. For texture on the background, I've added fields of lavender, okay? And at a, the adjustment layer is dark in color. Okay? And again, I can come in and play around with, uh, that's on a screen, that's at 75%. If I delete that, there we go, okay. So keep playing around. Again, in Classroom, I will explain what you need to add. Uh, on each section of the box. Okay. All right. Have a great time. This might, the top here, it might be fun just to do like a circle with a piece of lavender in it. Okay. Or leave it blank. A lot of times the top of a box is blank. Okay. Have fun. And um, uh, tomorrow I'll explain how to add the ingredients and other options. And don't be afraid to design um, vertically.